us learn who Ronald McDonald is when we're kids, but families don't usually learn about the Ronald McDonald house until their kids get sick. Well, I got to visit the Ronald McDonald house in Durham recently and meet the Williamson family. Megan Moore Williamson didn't really want her daughter to be born in North Carolina. She lives in Virginia with her husband and daughter, but was only in Durham to bring her grandma to Duke Hospital, a visit that didn't go as planned for several reasons. I had to call my mom and let her know that her mom was just diagnosed with terminal cancer, so that was really hard to do. While I was there, my water broke, and I went down to the emergency room, and I was kind of in denial, like, oh, I'm fine, you know, everything's okay. And um, they were like, no, it's not. She gives me the call. She's like, uh, I think my water just broke. Megan's husband, Charles, was at home working in Virginia, and Megan was having the baby prematurely. I'm freaking out a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. It all was just kind of like a whirlwind couple days, and, um, and so we went back to the NICU that night and met Parker, and it was amazing. Parker is a fighter but she was also 16 weeks early and only weighed about a pound and a half. So the Williamson family wasn't leaving Durham for a while. They come to this area, a lot of folks, for the very first time, and they don't know anyone. Owe Osterkamp, the executive director of the Durham and Wake Ronald McDonald House, knows their story all too well. We take away some of the other things that they normally would have to worry about, where they're gonna sleep, where they're gonna eat. It's been four months now of Megan living at the Ronald McDonald House near Duke Hospital in Durham, waiting for Parker to get bigger and stronger. And she's learned things like dinner is something special in this 55 room, 40,000 square foot home. Dinner's every night at six. So, you know, you kind of like walk in the kitchen and you see everybody and everybody had a hard day at the hospital. The families are able to live with the only people in the world who truly understand what they're going through. Being able to stay here has been the best thing because she's two minutes down the road. She's able to be with Parker every single day and you know, she needs that to grow. She needs her mother's touch to grow. And just in time for Christmas, Parker was, was able to go back home to Virginia with mom and dad and big sister Ella Jane. Um, so great story there. Yeah. Parker is, is healthy now. Mm -hmm. And apparently mom and dad don't put her down because <laughs> sure. she's at home finally. Oh, and that's a great feeling. She's so Happy loved. ending. Yeah. Very good. Very and nice. I love what he said at the end, you know, the baby needs the mother's touch. Mm -hmm. and, and Ronald it's McDonald true. House made that possible yeah. for the family to be there. Wonderful story, Helping Wes. Helping so many families. Yes. Thank you, Wes. Workaholics in France, they have one less excuse.